Hi, my name is Kai Wan. Today we're going to do a full review about this Nanolite Forza 60C. This is RGB ACL COB LED light. So today we're going to share with you guys all the pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like about this light. So let's get started. So first, this reflector looks pretty dope. It just looks like the Evoke 1200 watt LED, that really, really long reflector. But this reflector actually creates some weird onion outside your light beam. So I recommend just buy the FL11 for nail for this Forza 60C because you buy this for nail, you also get the four leaves born door in the box and you will have much more even light in your beam angle. The only reason to use this reflector is to keep this light so lightweight. If you want to rig it, above somebody and you don't want to put the vanilla glass on this light yeah the reflector is the way to go there was a little bouncy spring in the middle of this locking knob i have no idea what is this for it just doesn't do anything and just harder to tie this knob with the spring in the middle so i just take it apart take out the spring and it just works flawlessly. Next, I want to point out the fan noise is noticeable, but the biggest problem is the fan noise is not consistent. Sometimes sounds like a lower pitch, sometimes it sounds like crazy whining sound and just it's not consistent. I have no idea why they just put a very low quality fan in here. Yep, so the fan is on right now. If I don't talk, you will hear the fan noise and this fan noise is just so loud it's just even louder than my 300 watt led this is just unbelievable so there is a little cool way to dim this light under one percent so this is one percent in the effect mode so if you use the app from now like there is an rgbw mode so you can dim the light and control the rgb value so you can just barely turn on the light. So right now the red is at 17. Just barely turn on the red color in this light. This is so cool. This is green at 25. Just barely turn on the green light. And this is with reflector. Yeah, so it's really, really dim. The dimmer curve is linear on this light. So if you dim it down from 100 to 50, you will minus one stop of light. It's pretty accurate, but if you dim it down under, under, under 15%, your light level, the brightness will start to be inaccurate. In CCT mode, the color is pretty stable until you dim it down under 40%. The color temperature and the color will be kind of weird and unstable. In HSI mode, the color is pretty stable until you dim it down under 60%. The green color is the worst. The green will start to change the color hue and be really funky right after you touch the dimmer. And I also found some weird glitches and bugs in the CCT mode. It will suddenly take out all the green correction if you change the Kelvin from 4100 Kelvin to 4000 Kelvin. And if you change the Kelvin from 4900 Kelvin to 5000 Kelvin, you can see some dramatic green and magenta shift. In HSI mode, if you desaturate the color to white, the white point is at 7000 Kelvin and only output 70% compared to the CCT mode. So there are still some bug and glitches in this light I want to point out. So for example, if you're using battery to power this light, if you accidentally drain your battery to 0%, sometimes it will just do a fully factory reset. In HSI mode, you can dial in whatever color you want and maybe, hey, it's lunchtime. So you just turn off the light and come back on set, turn on the light, the hue will not save it will go back to zero hue, the red. Another problem, the onboard control is just too slow. If you just want to do some fine control, yeah, it's pretty good. But if you just want to quickly dial in what settings you want, um, it's kind of slow and wastes lots of time. I want to talk a little bit more about the phone app because it will just add additional function just like RGBW mode and XY mode and more fine control in effect mode. Just like for example, if you use TV mode on board, the onboard effect in the TV mode, the TV effect, you can just choose between different CCT, the color temperature. But in the phone app, if you choose the TV mode, TV effect, 
you can choose between CCT and HSI. You can choose different color, different hue, saturation, color shift, that kind of fine control just in app, not on an onboard control. So the RGBW and XY is not on board. You cannot control those settings on board. But the phone app control have some bug and glitches too. So I want to point out some, just like if you are in the RGBW mode, there is a white light you can add into your color, but this white light, just don't use it right now. Because this white light is so horrible, it looks weird because it's a 5600 Kelvin. Sounds good, right? But it's a plus 100% magenta. What the heck is this? So I found a way if you just wanted to saturate the color in RGBW mode, don't add in the white light. You just set every value, the RGB value to 255 and you will come up with this 7000 Kelvin, a little bit green white point, but it's still better than this full plus 100% magenta white light that Nanolite provides you. And if you want more saturated color, you just take away the color you don't want. Maybe right now, I feel like I don't want this skin tone. So I just take away the red. Yep, this is the way to control the light. Just take away some part of the spectrum away from the white light, the full spectrum. This is a new way to control light. I think this RGBW mode is pretty pretty fun to use. Next mode, the XY coordinate. If you want to choose very saturated red and blue, the fully saturated red and blue, it will not be fully saturated. You cannot choose the fully saturated red compared to the HSI 100% red. This is not fully saturated. I have no idea. Maybe just a bug or I don't know. My biggest problem is this app is a one way control. You always transmit the information from your phone to the light. The light never transmit any data back to your phone. So if you change anything on board, the phone app will still maintain the same. And if you reconnect, it will just jump back to the phone app settings. This is pretty annoying. So every first time you relink your app, the light will just jump straight into the app settings, just the CCT mode. So if you like this color and you just turn on your phone app, you will just totally lose that color. You just choose it on board. Sometimes the phone app just cannot relink to the light. Even if you restart the app, it just cannot relink. The only solutions I found out, just delete your light in a light fixture and then add it back into your group. Then you can access the light from the phone app. This is pretty annoying because this happened to me several times a day. I only have one nail light fixture. And if you have maybe five, you need to relink every single time you disconnect. This is just not a good app. <laughs> this is not a good way to relink or connect the light. This app is just not stable enough. I want to make some wishes about this light. The first one, I want a RGB ACL mode control, maybe on the phone app or on board, that will be better. Because if you can dial in every single spectrum, every single light color, you can do some very fine control on this light. That will be awesome. And the second one, I want more settings to build into the onboard control. Because right now, onboard control, you can control CCT, HSI, and effect. There is no any RGBW or XY or more fine control stuff. So if you can add something similar into the light on board, yeah, that will be awesome. The third wish is I want the hue loop. This is the hue range control. I want, maybe I want a yellow to a purple. This is impossible right now because I cannot cross the hue to another side of the hue range. I always need to choose the middle part. I cannot skip the middle part to the opposite side of the hue. <laughs> know what I'm talking about? I hope none light can fix those glitches and bugs as fast as possible because this looks like a final product, but the software is just like beta version, <laughs> prototype software, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so if Nunlight fix those problems I point out, this will be very compelling light in the market because this is RGB ACL light in a small footprint. You can rig this light wherever you want. 
this is just next level of lighting okay so this is end of this video so if you like this video press a like make sure you subscribe my youtube channel to check out more video like this if you want to watch more video like this maybe unboxing review filmmaking equipment stuff check out this playlist my name is Kai Yuan, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.